Okay, there's a number of different ways to uh, sample for onion thrips in the field. Um, this is one way that we call it in situ, that means in place. And so you can just uh, open up the neck of the onion plant and look inside and see how many thrips you can find. The really small thrips, the immature, early immature stages are very small and hard to see with just the, the naked eye. And so it's often best to have some kind of magnification. And so just come up to the plant, look inside, use the hand lens to help you view the smaller thrips and you can get an idea and a count of how many there are per plant. So that's one approach. The approach that I actually like the best because it gives me a little better view is to use this magnifying uh, lens. These are called magnifocusers. Another method that we use in research to uh, sample onion thrip numbers on plants is to actually collect a destructive sample, that is cut the plant um, and take it back to the lab where we can uh, wash the thrips off. So the method we use for this is just to, to cut the onion plant right at the base of the plant, put it inside a plastic bag. We generally cut multiple plants, three or more, so that we have a good sized sample. Put these in a plastic bag that we label with the field ID information. So when we get back to the lab, we're going to use a little bit of soapy water to wash the thrips off the onion leaves. So we just use a couple drops of soap and some water. And you pour your, dump your onion plants into the bucket with the soapy water. And rinse them thoroughly, washing all the thrips off. And then we use the 230 mesh sieve, so a very fine mesh sieve that's going to collect the thrips on it. We just pour our solution through the sieve, including the onions. And we rinse them off. out the bucket. Rinse the thrips down to one side of the mesh sieve. Uh, 70 percent uh, ethanol, so ethanol that's diluted down to 70 percent, and that'll break down that, those soap bubbles. And then a small funnel, and we can wash this, wash this uh, solution with the thrips in it into a vial. We label the vial with our field information, and then we can count it under the microscope. We can take our thrip sample, mix it up, pour it into a petri dish, plastic petri dish, and then we can look through the microscope and count the number of adult thrips and immatures, and we can uh, distinguish the difference between onion thrips and western flower thrips by some of their key characteristics.